Holmes, it's Sonia and Matt. How are you? And the porta potty. Look, but it's a pretty color though. <laughs> we are here in Ligonier and. This thing's beautiful. It is beautiful here. You got to see the clouds. Let me show you the clouds before I even go any further. Look at this. Isn't that so cool? We've had some really weird storms here today. Yeah. Wow, we did. We had hail. And oh my gosh, look at that over there. You can really see it through the camera. Wow. Look at that storm. So we have just closed up our shop for the day and now we're heading over to our friends William and Andrew over at Allegory Gallery. If you've been following the vlog saga here on the vlog, you will yeah. know that we painted a beautiful vanity in Liberty Blue. Did you see that one? And didn't it turn out fabulous? Andrew has been working on his window over here. I didn't make it over last Friday due to weather. We didn't make it down to town, but we're here today and I wanted to pop over and continue with helping him. So he has a work table over there and they are a art, bead, jewelry, beautiful store. And they do workshops and things like that. So we're gonna actually give a whole new coat of paint to what is their work table. And they went ahead, did a poll on their Facebook page and asked what color they should go with. And they've decided, I do believe the crowd has told them they should do it woodland fairy so i have that color in my bag of goodies here with me and we're walking up to see them so let's go do it today are you window shopping i'm smelling you're smelling it does yeah, smell the, good doesn't it the uh, i smell scallops so every time we walk through here right, well the tavern's right there it smells yeah every time yeah. we walk through here the smell is just like it yeah. blows up the road just perfectly <laughs> it's like i smell like i'm in florida right it now crazy. i'm gonna get the before photo of here so andrew you did a poll on your page and so we did a poll on our page and the winner is da -da -da! woodland fairy nice kind of matches the shirt you're wearing I'm so i can see that. green is very you know we talked about blue the last time we were here right green what do you know about the color green well what kind of vibes does it give uh prosperity and abundance and creativity and life and Lots of good stuff. Yeah. I'm down with that. I think that's good. Cool. So this table here, this is like a workshop table. You use this for like a bunch of different things. It's a multi-purpose table. So when we're not doing classes, we do shipping off of it. Um, but we have classes and make and takes twice a week. So Mondays and Wednesdays, there's people in here. And the table is well loved and yep. well used. Shows so. where the love has been. Yeah. Cool. You know, tables are so cool because think about how many people congregate around them. Yes. You know the stories it could tell? I just think about that all the time. The life. Well, this table has been with us since the beginning. Um, so we've had this table and it's been painted several different times. As every time we move, it seems like we've painted it. But we had this when we first started out and this is one of the only pieces of furniture we had in the shop. And so. Cool. So you're ready to see it in a whole new color. Yes, we're let's, excited. Let's do it. By the way, let's go to the front because this is the piece that we did together. Oh my gosh, I love how you have this decorated. <gasps> so nice. And you painted the stool? I did. Look at you go, the gold stars. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. And this needs a little bit of the monkey shine. But I also have- I'm gonna leave you uh, with a can of monkey shine. Oh nice, Yes. I'm excited. So we had these old displays that were kind of well-loved and yes. abused, and we just painted them. So this is that leatherette stuff, and it took the, the paint really well. That is beautiful. That's the first time I've ever seen anybody paint pieces like that. You're probably giving somebody ideas out there yes, right now, I've right? I've got a couple different ideas cooking, so you don't have to stay nice. tuned. And then they what also... do you got all up here for your display? So I painted the walls too, and the walls are the midnight blue. Yes. And we didn't put um, any kind of finish, and I think it has a nice kind of velvety, um, it soaks up the light, which is really nice. Um, and because it's matte, it hides the imperfections on the walls. Agreed, yep. Which is super good, because this is an older That's building. That's like my shop too. Yeah, when I painted my walls, I'm like, oh, I like this. <laughs> it hides all the dents and creases. Um, and then I painted this box. We had an old silverware box that was a wood one, and I kind of try to do my best at uh, 
giving it some new life and some new character. I love how you layered all the pieces. They all look stacked. Thanks. Lots of different like things at different eye levels. Thanks. Beautiful. Oh, I wow. tried hard. This piece is gorgeous over here. Yeah. Is that a tart warmer or what is that? Just a light? Just a light. I got it from Ikea. Gorgeous. And I just love it. <gasps> love it. Oh. I think you could do that probably with a junk monkey if you just scraped away and did a little scraffito action. And then they'll let the light come through the, the parts that are off? Is yeah. that what you mean? Yeah, totally. Love it. Like Love if you it. took a mason jar or something like that, yep. you could make your own kind of light with a decorative Luminary. little, look like little bits of starlight I'm going to have to try that this summer. Summer is good for those types of projects. Oh, yeah. I'll or like a that. tea light would be great as a candle holder. Look at your space in here. Let's just Thanks. take in a few of the eye candy parts before we get to work. Yeah, we changed it up a little bit since you were here last. So Ooh. We added this cool, and I know I'm torn because I want, like I, I, I love wood, but I also um, like the, the painted wood. And so we have got this um, antique display cabinet and so I'm 50-50 um, on whether or not to it is beautiful. paint it. That is beautiful. You shall not paint this. It is gorgeous. <laughs> okay. You shall not paint that this. That was my vote. This is quarter sound quarter sawn oak so not paint that <laughs> not paint that all right i think that this wood goes beautiful with the blues that you yes, have nice. because you think about the golden in your stars and right. this beautiful you know kind of oh yep oh color yeah. gorgeous it is beautiful to have a combination of painted and unpainted i think it goes together so nice weird after that when i kind of overstep my bounds on that <laughs> one. <laughs> you heard it from the paint company man don't paint it don't paint, don't paint, don't paint it it is beautiful boat, so i'm all for that well, and then we have the other display cabinet, and I, I don't want to paint You're that right because that it has the original um, Get Your Box of Xbox Nine. No, no way. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So that's this is the stuff that I would monkey shine. Okay. That's this wood loves monkey shine. It just completely revives it, gives it a nice, oh, oh, my gosh. Yes, if you were to monkey shine this. It would can like I can I do a test box. to show you? Sure. All right. And then I'll leave you the monkey shine and you can do it. So, you know, oh, this is easy peasy. Good. Yep. So put it in, just swish it around a little bit to get a little bit on your your brush hairs. Yep. So what kind of brush is this? This is what's called a wax brush. A wax yep. brush. And yeah. just, just go around your... Uh, oh, yeah. Your yep. If you go in circles, what happens is all the wood pores get plugged off. Oh, is that good or bad? Yeah, that's good. I swish it all over and go around with it just to make sure you work it all the way in. So nice. Yeah, I know. Isn't that beautiful? Hey, good job. Nice. So then, look at all that wood grain showing up in there. How beautiful. Yeah. And then we would take a cloth, which I completely forgot to get some fresh ones before I came up, so we might have to run and get wrapped up. But use a the section right here, and then you buff it off. All right. This is where I say Jimmy Buffett. And Matt's like, oh. <laughs> kind of like Jimmy Buffett, like polish, you don't care. Right? <laughs> Look how nice that is. You know, it's beautiful. Oh, so fresh. And that wood is just saying, well, hello. Say thank you. Thank, thank you, you for <laughs> nourishing me and feeding yeah, me today. Look at the difference. Oh, wow. Yeah. Love it. Ah, yes. Beautiful, gleaming. <laughs> and it feels clean. Healthy. And exactly. Not this dusty, crusty <laughs> thing over there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is perfect. So I think that if you were to monkey shine that as well, oh yeah. There's a lot of wooden pieces. I foresee a lot of, of <laughs> late so nights. There's going to be a lot of waxing. <laughs> <laughs> wax on, wax off. You got it. I saw you from across the room Met, I never knew that I could feel this way, and it's kind of strange. Don't even know your name.
Well, that was fun. It was so nice to catch up with Andrew and William. We just have such a blast chatting with them every single time we hang out with them. And I think their table looks fabulous. They're happy with it. So what will happen tonight is all that, um, all the product that we put on there will continue to dry, to cure, to really suck into the wood. And I really like when I paint a piece and I come down the following morning and it's just all soaked in. It looks fine and fabulous. So I might come back and do a little antiquing on that table for them. Perhaps uh, next week when I'm back in town here in Ligonier. What do you guys think as well? So we're gonna head back now to the shop and then head back north to our home up north. Oh, by the way, you know that um, stool that Andrew was monkey shining? Do you wanna see where he put it and how it looks now? Because it is completely done. And by the way, before I end this vlog and show you what his window display looks like with all those junk monkey pieces in the window, be sure to go ahead and give them some love guys. I'm going to go ahead and link their um, business information in the description down below of this video, but definitely look up Allegory Gallery because it's amazing. All right, and their window display is amazing. So check it out and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.